So back to the 64 here. Um, be working on the exhaust next. Um, here it is. Uh, the pipes themselves were already pre-bent. And this is a Flowmaster kit. And um, I went with uh, MagnaFlow mufflers. These are polished and uh, this stuff has been chrome plated. I chrome plated all the, the clamps and everything. So we'll see how they do. I'm not, I'm not too sure how long this chrome is gonna last, but I'm definitely gonna find out because I'm gonna be driving this thing. Um, the only thing that I don't have chrome plated or bent is these pieces here. This is the piece that goes from the header collector down to the muffler. So these actually have to be bent. And that's the only thing that has kept me from putting this stuff on. I had already uh, fit all of this stuff whenever I put the engine on the frame. And it fits good, it, look good. it looks good. Um, I just took it off for transport and all that. So now I have to, I have to get these bent and what I'm gonna do, um, I was trying to get this car to the exhaust shop, which was, you know, I was gonna have to put this thing on the trailer and do all, take it to the shop, put it on the lift and then get these pipes bent. And, well, I haven't been able to get a hold of the exhaust shop. So what I'm gonna do is I have a lot of bent up, uh, fuel line pipe here. So I'm gonna bend a piece of uh, this tubing to um, to match, you know, whatever bends I need on that pipe over there. And then I'm gonna take the pipe by itself to the muffler shop and then have them bend it to hire whatever shape I bend this to. I'm gonna go ahead and install this right now and then start bending, you know, bending this and match it. So I'll bring y'all back when I get a little. Man, sometimes you gotta take matters in their own hands. I was hoping to find an exhaust shop to bend my pipes from the header to the muffler. No luck. So here we go. Well, I can see why the exhaust shop didn't want to bend this pipe because there are some pretty awkward bends. But uh, this, this is just to show y'all, y'all don't need nothing fancy or high end to weld or create something. So I'm, just, I'm gonna weld up these pipes, mold them, and then get these plated. So here's what I ended up with. Um, here's the custom pipe that I made. And it fits perfectly. And I got all the welds uh, molded up now. So now I can go ahead and test fit it, which I know it fits, because I wouldn't have welded it if it's not. But it fits really good. It looks kind of funky here. But once you see it installed and working, you'll see where it needs to be. So I'm gonna install it and um, finish up the other side, do the same thing, and then uh, fit everything, clamp everything down, you know, start the car so I can um, go ahead and move it, turn it around. And then uh, once I do that, I'm gonna take these back off and, um, and chrome plate them. So this, this, this is a section of the pipe that I had, which was already chrome plated, but I had to do all this, so no big deal. I just I really needed this piece. So this is the piece that they didn't want to weld at the uh, at the muffler shop. I mean, they didn't want to bend, excuse me. And I can kind of see why now, because that is a pretty funky bend. But when you're dealing with X frames and custom exhaust, this is kind of what you're going to be looking at. So just a heads up to everybody out there doing custom exhaust on these cars. It, it takes a little bit of work. But um, let me get a little closer and I'll bring you all back. So the second pipe is done. This is for the driver's side. And it actually installs just like that. That is a crazy bend. But that was required to get this thing to fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this on. And then um, I'll try to get under the car and show you what it looks like. So here's the passenger side installed. You see I got the oxygen sensor there. get here in the bottom. So 
Well, this muffler's on a little bit crooked, but it was just for just for the test fitting. Um, I'm gonna have to take this back off, this whole section off, and um, get it chrome plated. But I just wanted to fit everything and um, make sure everything was on correctly before I did that, and it turned out really good. Let me show y'all the driver's side over here. You kind of see here from the top. So the pipes turned out pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with them. There we go. Here is the uh, driver's side. As you can see, there's plenty of clearance. So typically, typically a, a pipe on an X frame would come down about right here and then wrap around right here. But since my headers are a little bit uh, angled back, you know, this is this is what I had to do. So on a, on a typical Ram horn on a small block Chevy, it drops about right here. And then it comes around just a little bit higher, give you a little bit more clearance than this. Let me turn it on so y'all can hear it. sounds I can hear a little bit of an exhaust leak and I'm thinking it's right at that clamp so I probably just got to tighten some more which I'm not gonna do right now because I got to take that stuff off to get it crumpled so I was just uh, more worried about the fitment and everything fit good it sounds good um, I guess a little bit of update on the car itself uh, everything engine wise is good Transmission wise is good, it's shifting through the gears. I was able to take it for a test drive, just really around the neighborhood. Um, the only issue I'm having right now is that my fans are not cutting on when they need to. So I'm assuming I have a crossed wire somewhere and I just need to dig into the harness and you know test everything and see, see what the problem with that is. I'm sure it's just a cross wire. So. The problem is tracking it down, so. I'll get to that soon enough. Um, what else? What else? So oh, these brakes. I have a 100% brand new brake system and they suck. This thing does not brake the way it needs to brake. It's not stopping good. It stops okay, and but that's that's not going to be all right. I'm, that's not going to fly because this car is really heavy and it doesn't even have the hydraulics in now. So I can imagine you know, putting 900 more pounds on this car, it's, it's just gonna make it worse, so. This needs to be addressed. I'm not sure what it is. Um, the first issue I had with the brakes, it just it had a bad master cylinder. And it was brand new, bad out the box. Swapped it out and worked a little better. I got some, I got a pedal now. But man, this brakes has definitely been a headache. Um, I will get it sorted out though. I won't. I won't stop until I fix it. I haven't updated this in a while because I've been working on. I've been working at Lone Star Shop, trying to get this uh, '62 over there finished. But, um, I added these. I don't think these were on here last time. These are made by Undercover. I think is the name of the Undercover Innovations. These covers here. I felt like it gave it more of a modern look since it has a modern engine 
you know, because typically most engines nowadays are all covered. So that was the look I was going for. I like it. Uh, I still haven't painted the fenders. The hood is super close. I've been working on that. And I'm fixing to show y'all the trunk install right now. So here's the trunk lid. Um, I ended up doing three coats of paint and uh, four coats of clear, but not before a bunch of body work and primers and epoxies and fillers and all that other stuff. It took a little bit of work to get it right. Uh, these repop trunks, they fit really well, but they have high spots and low spots on them that they need to be addressed before paint. So I got that all taken care of and um, there was a little bit of trash in the paint, but I let it cure. I mean, in the clear, sorry, I let it cure for two weeks and then went ahead and cut and buff it and ended up buffing it twice, cut and buffing it twice. And after the second time, I was happy. It, it came out nice. It came out the way it needed to be. So I was installed some parts on it. I have all, I had all original parts re -chrome plated. And um, here it is. Here's a trunk right here after the second buff. And man, was I happy. That thing came out extra nice. So right after, right after the second buff, we went ahead and put a little bit of trim on it and um, brought it to the house, installed it a few days after that. You can see the reflection on it. This thing came out really, really nice. I was really happy with the results here. So uh, coming up, I'm gonna show y'all some uh, some of the pictures of uh, once I got it installed. needs to come on. Is that daddy? Yep. Get on those things. So it breaks? A little better, yeah. Not all the way. 